Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another edition of the Speed Clean, Declutter and Organise series with me. Today, as you can see by the title and by the thumbnail, we are going into my laundry room. I have been so excited to do this room. It's small but there's a lot to do, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Today we are tackling the laundry room. As you can see, I am showing you this in its pure, raw state, which literally is a state, including some clean washing that needs to be put away. I've got from Timu, as you all would have seen in my Timu video, which I will link in the screen here, these absolutely fantastic decanters that also come with the stickers. I ended up getting quite a few, so I don't know how many I need to use. And then from my B&M organization storage hall, I will also link that on the screen here and down below for all of these organization videos. If you want to watch all of them, if you are new to my channel, then I have got a whole bunch and I will also link the playlist down below. I've got these two jars that were left over. I have no idea what I'm going to put in them and I have no idea where they're going to go, but I thought they'd look nice in here because it would pull through from the kitchen. One last shameless plug as well. Speaking of kitchen, if you have not seen the full kitchen declutter and organization then i suggest you watch that also how cute is this i found a use for my cloche this cloche is from timu i will link it down below along with my timu sign up discount code that can get you this i think at quite a reduced price anyway check the description box i'll put it all down there but how lush does this look anyway i digress although it's small i do have quite a bit of storage so when we first moved in i got this shelf, ladder shelving unit. This was from B&M and it fits so perfectly in this corner. As you can see, the radiator just finishes there. I got so lucky finding these Raydun storage baskets. So I've got a medium one here and then a larger one at the bottom, but they just look again like they're made for this unit. And this is super practical. So it's just one of these wicker baskets. This was either from B&M or Primark. And I just keep my roll of bin liners in here. At the top, this stuff can change around to be honest this was meant to go outside <laughs> last summer it's the outdoor candle and this is also an outdoor product but I just kind of ended up chucking it here this is really um interesting I will show you this later on in the video when I have two hands to show you how it works coming down obviously radiator and then I've got my lovely wall art I cannot remember where these are from I will link it down below though because I did mention it in a video when I put it up when I first moved into this house about two three years ago as you can see it just needs some straightening out as well so these need a good little clean straighten out but I really like the fact that the art in here is just like that it just goes with the room so well moving over to the shelves I think these look really like just cluttered now I want them to look a lot more aesthetically pleasing so I have bought a couple of items from Matalan that I think are going to look really nice up there which I'll show you in a moment moving down we of course have our second sink in here which we barely use and our microwave so this usually just lives inside and yeah, I mean a microwave is an absolute eyesore, so I just keep it in here, out of the kitchen, out of on the sides. As you can see, this needs a good clean. I cleaned Jerry's muddy equifleece in here the other day, so I haven't cleaned up since then. And then the one major space of storage is this cupboard. If you're wondering, this isn't a cupboard. Uh, well, it is a cupboard, but it's not storage place. It's got our boiler in it, so there's not much I can do about that. So, in the cupboard, if we open this up, yeah, desperate need of organization. There is a decent amount of storage space under here. It's just a case of making this look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and a lot more aesthetically pleasing, as well as it being a bit more organized and easy for me to sort of reach into. The iron I actually need to take out of here because I've got an awesome storage solution that's going in our under stairs cupboard for the iron, which I will show you in this video. I don't think I'll be putting it up because that under stairs cupboard honestly needs its whole own video. It is a train wreck under there. <laughs> Just in case I forget, I'll put on the screen what I've bought for the iron and our ironing board, which is gonna go perfect in our understairs cupboard. It looks like this, so the iron just mounts on top and then the the ironing board just hooks onto the hooks underneath. So apart from the Timu purchases that I made, like I said, I also did make a purchase in Matalan and these were in the Matalan sale and I managed to get my hands on two of them and I think they are so cute. Matalan do a whole laundry co, the 
Laundry Co. range of stuff. They do washing baskets, they do little storage baskets like this, bigger and smaller. I think they do them with brown instead of grey. I actually picked up both of these uh, in the sale, the Massillon sale, and they were down to just under half price at £4.50. And what I thought is we could put them on the shelves here. And I think that'll look really sweet because I can still keep things in them. It won't be so looking cluttery, obviously, because they'll be inside and you won't see it. Uh, and yeah, they just they just look great. And I think when we stand back here, it will look really, really nice. So let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start with clearing the shelf. Pausing the time lapse quickly, I also had this, which unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to use, which is pretty gutting. Where I wanted to put it is just not going to work. Um, if you haven't watched my first, I think it was my first or my second Timu video, this is an ingenious invention. Again, I'll put the picture on the screen so you can see what it is. I think it went viral on TikTok a little while ago as well, but I just found it on Timu and thought it was such a good idea. It's a retractable clothesline. Now, I had the idea of putting it here because I thought it'd be perfect over the radiator. So when we obviously have the radiator on, we can really utilize the, the heat, but we live in a new build, so it's hollow and that thing is quite heavy and you can imagine with obviously wet washing on it as well and extending out the pressure point it is just not going to work however i'm not willing to give up i'm thinking if i got some kind of prop so like if i can i can keep a little prop in the corner or two so whenever i'm using it as long as i prop out the edges so they've got some support to the floor. I don't think that'll be a problem at all. So that is pending. Possibly not something that's gonna happen in this video, unfortunately, unless I can really get my thinking cap on, but I thought I would share it anyway. And if you live in a normal house with actual brick walls, I will also leave it linked down below with the Timu uh, cloche so you can shop. Each other, I know we feel the same About the situation Like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar As we write the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before, oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more, oh Come run away So this is what I wanted to show you, my little hack, and maybe if you are in the same situation as me with a very ugly electric box, then you might take some inspiration from this. I love my plant, my eucalyptus, but I think it needs a new location. Also, don't use these hinge books, they're just here for decoration, so again, I might make better use of this space. And just like that, two storage baskets completely cleared. And voila, this is the ugly box that is behind the thing with all of our switches in it so i'm not changing this at all um i am going to just put that right back on there and ta-da it's gone i'm going to give this a good shake outside but do you know what i might just bring it round. i just said i don't know if i want it there but i think it kind of helps mask this as a bit more of a shelf so i think it's best to keep it here i'm just going to give it a little clean and fluff outside to get any dust off 
and then we will uh, leave the baskets for now and see if there's anywhere else appropriate for them to go. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm now stood up on my counter just so I can reach these blimmin' shelves. under cabinet. Now, plan of action is just take everything out, give it a good clean, and then reassess what needs to be decanted, what can go, what gets a new home, and what we're keeping. Somehow this is beautiful. Yeah. About time we let things go. Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be. Yeah. All of my products are now out of the cupboard, so I've got them in front of me and I can work out what we're going to be doing with the containers. You wouldn't believe so many bottles and products could fit into that space. I have just brought in from my racking in the garage where I keep all of my backups and my wholesale items, um, some Dettol laundry cleanser, and also I bought this yesterday, which is the Mega Pack of the Fairy. Then for laundry detergent, I'm a little bit all over the place. I've been enjoying the Astonish 2-in-1 non-bio laundry detergent. I'm not a massive fan of this scent, which is called Secret Garden, um, but it is very affordable and it's cruelty free. Then I have just picked this up as a new one to try, which is the pink stuff. Uh, sensitive detergent so this is the non-bio one and again cruelty free I'm only purchasing from cruelty free brands going forward that just made me realize it's very cruelty free it's a new this is a new year's resolution and I just go into autopilot when I'm in the shop so I'm just gonna quickly google it okay it's not very clear but it says is very liquid cruelty free and very liquids obviously like the liquid soap like what you use to wash dishes and it just says it should be noted their parent brand tests on animals where required by law Okay, so I'm gonna Google if Lenore is cruelty free and if it is, I will be moving back to them, 100%. I then use the Dettol laundry cleanser. Again, a brand I need to check that don't test on animals. I've had these though in the cupboard for a really long time. But again, going forward 2024 in all of my products and consumables for the house. So I need to decant those. And then I have the Primark pre-wash stain remover now i wish that primark kept their washing range because i absolutely loved their softener i loved their laundry detergent and it was all so affordable and this is actually really good uh but i don't know if you can find it in store anymore so yeah the pre-wash stain remover it does a really good job and this is vegan and cruelty free i then have the dishwasher stuff over there so the liquid and the salts which i want to put in a nicer container and then i've got all of these boxes now this is what i'm hoping those storage containers are going to be good for. I also use the Vanish whitening powder which I've kept in this little Ikea storage jar and then I got this Vanish label printed on eBay. This is nice, don't get me wrong, it looks pretty, it works well but again because I've got to keep out the pink scoop and stuff it's just going to make a lot more sense to put it into one of these decantables and I think I'm going to put it in the smaller one. Yeah, I think this is it now. I'm going to make piles and I'm going to do the thing that I have been most looking forward to which is decanting and labelling these lovely white liquid storage containers and then we can get to putting everything back in the room and finishing it up. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake now you keep missing out for sure
the room is done. Finally, everything that I use on a regular basis has got its own place and there is plenty of space in here. So, oh hello Jerry, have you joined us now? Of course, when we're putting in the graft, you know where to be seen, but when it's all done, you're uh, taking all the credits and all the screen time. Starting on the ladder shelf, just really quickly I'll run you through the room as you can see it's so small. Up onto the crate here we then have the two baskets, I did keep this the same, I've just swapped them round and then as you've seen from the speed clip I folded up pieces of newspaper. So these are individual pieces and these are double pieces. So whenever I'm doing food bin, like when I'm putting food in the food bin or whatever, I usually use the double wrapped to wrap up old food and then obviously that's just if I've got something small or if I need just a piece of paper, so that is perfect. And then of course the shelves these just look absolutely fabulous on here and if I tilt you up they are hiding a multitude of sins because as you can see all the colorful boxes that aren't that aesthetically pleasing are now hidden away but yet very conveniently at hand coming down we have my glass storage jars with the acacia wood from B&M so in the little one here I've got my Lenore tumble dryer sheets in there which are just gonna be super easy for me to pick this up and take one out and then this is my dishwasher salts so both of them are white both very aesthetic the final section is this under storage cabinet and oh my goodness what a difference. I just put the pre-wash stain remover here because it needs to stay in this bottle and I think it's quite a nice bottle anyway. And then I've got a couple of the Fabulosa washing machine cleaners here and they look quite nice as well in their bottle. It's fine to keep them like that. And then I've just got some spare of these stickers. Now, if you're eagle-eyed when you're watching the time-lapse of me putting these uh, containers in, you would have noticed that the sticker was actually on the other side. So I'm not too happy with that because obviously the handles are here. I want to be able to see them. So thankfully, because it came with loads of stickers, I just took the other stickers off the back and I put new ones on. And what I also did was, as you can see, because I've got four of them and I have four different stickers, I needed to make it work. So I put the Dettol as the laundry detergent because it is Dettol laundry detergent. And then I put the laundry liquid as laundry powder. Now, I know it's not powder, that does annoy me as much as it annoys you, but it does not annoy me as much as if there was no sticker on here and there was on those three, so that's what we're gonna do. Fabric softener and then bleaching agent, and then in the back there I've just got my Ecover wool and silk cleaner and then just the dishwasher liquid as well. And that, my friends, is absolutely everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this speed clean, declutter, organize my laundry room with me. I have got a whole series of these videos which I'll be leaving in the description box down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some videos over on the screen here for you if you wanna check out some more of my content and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao.